Hey guys, it's been about a month since I was able to go fishing last, so I'm gonna go check out how's the fishing. Uh, don't know if people are still catching stripers or not, but we'll find out soon. All right, so to properly rig this rig, uh, this is all that you're gonna need. Some beads, swivels, hooks, the slider, and a weight, and a leader. I'm using a 50 pound test fluorocarbon, and when you get it off the spool, it's gonna be all spooled up like that. It's not gonna be straight, so, if you want to get it straight, you can just run your fingernail in the opposite direction of the line until it's straight. So the first thing that I like to do is to put the swivel on the fluorocarbon first. And I do that because this line is so thick that I need a pair of pliers to really pull the swivel tight. And if the braid is on the swivel and I use a pair of pliers, it might break the braid just a clinch knot. It might not be the strongest, but it works really well for me. So the next thing you do is just take your slider, put it over the line, and then take a bead. This bead is gonna protect the slider from potentially breaking this line against the swivel. So you put your braid through the bead. And now with your leader, you tie a polymer knot. And uh, I'll show you a real quick, easy way to tie a snell knot to your leader. So you position the hook like this, put your fluorocarbon or your leader through the eye, make a big loop, and then just loop it around about five or six times. Okay, after you loop it around a few times, you put it back through that, that little loop that you left, pull that tight. And it helps if you practice this with mono, since fluorocarbon is pretty expensive, just until you get the hang of it. And that's pretty much it. Now all you gotta do is attach your weight to your slider, get some bait and cast it out, and that's it. If I could get some sand crabs, I think I'm going to do all right today. I have my little homemade sand crab trap. All it is is a broom handle and some hardware cloth wrapped around with some zip ties. Seems to do really well. Alright, that should be enough. I have a really good feeling about this spot. And now we wait. I think I might have one. Never mind, false alarm. Wow, so many. Any soft shell? No, no soft shell. Yeah. It's good with the eggs, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Sashimi. Oh, yeah. Can you eat it? Yeah. How about the shrimp? For perch. For perch, yeah, okay. For perch right here at the beach? Okay guys, good luck. You know, I haven't been out here for over a month, so I don't know if the fish are migrating back up north or maybe it was just a bad day. Does anybody know? Are they still biting around here? Well, I guess you can't catch fish every day. I'll try again next time. Sometimes it's just like that. 